So it is important to, to know that uh, acute myeloid uh, leukemia or AML uh, is an aggressive uh, disease with uh, a lot of uh, disease-related mortality and uh, allogenic uh, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation is the uh, curative uh, option for uh, an important proportion of the patients. The problem is that the transplantation also has uh, complications and mortality uh, related uh, to this. So uh, we cannot perform this allergenic uh, transplantation in all AML patients, and it is important to uh, select uh, who uh, is uh, an adequate candidate and who can benefit uh, in which uh, the benefits of the transplantation uh, overcome uh, the risk of the AML uh, disease. So uh, we already have uh, some classification uh, systems uh, for that, such as the European uh, Leukemia Net uh, Risk Stratification uh, Model, which has uh, three categories. But we also know that there is uh, quite a lot of heterogeneity uh, between uh, or within uh, these uh, categories. So we wanted uh, to uh, predict or to know if we could uh, make individualized uh, predictions of outcomes for each patient in order to know uh, if uh, allogenic transplantation should be considered uh, for that uh, patient uh, without having to look exclusively at the ELN classification. We made uh, the model with uh, a machine uh, learning uh, model and uh, we demonstrated that it, uh, with individualized uh, prediction of outcomes, uh, this uh, model was much more accurate than uh, the classifications that are uh, used uh, nowadays in this uh, transplant uh, decision. First of all, uh, this could uh, help uh, clinicians to decide whether uh, a patient should be considered for uh, allergenic stem cell uh, transplantation, and uh, that could uh, potentially, uh, of course, benefit the, the patient with more uh, tailored uh, approaches to, to treatment. But uh, you also have to uh, keep in mind the, the main limitations of the, of the study. Uh, the first one is that uh, at the current uh, time of the analysis, uh, we did not have uh, minimal residual disease information on the Harmony platform. And uh, this is a very important information in order to decide whether to transplant a, a patient or not. And uh, we also did not consider uh, new treatments uh, such as uh, uh, for example, uh, anti flea 3 uh, treatments or other uh, novel uh, strategies. And we also did not consider uh, non-intensive uh, approaches. So this uh, should be kept in mind uh, as the, also the limitations of the, of the study in the application. Why did we choose uh, to, to use uh, Bayesian uh, models uh, with uh, additive uh, trees in order to, to perform this, this model. Um, I think this is an, an important point. It's a machine learning uh, approach that has uh, several advantages over the traditional uh, methods that are commonly used, such as, for example, uh, Cox re regression uh, models. Probably the most important is that it allows to incorporate uh, uncertainty in the, in the model. The model is not only uh, able to uh, provide you an estimation, but also a confidence interval of the estimation of the outcomes. 
which I think it's uh, really important to have, uh, especially in the, in the medical field and where uh, medical uh, decisions uh, can be made uh, regarding to this uh, prediction. And uh, also is a very flexible model that does not have to take into account any assumptions regarding the, the data. Uh, whereas, for example, the, the Cox regression model is more strict and it's only able to capture uh, linear uh, relationships between the, the variables and this, this machine learning method is all, also able to uh, capture complex interactions uh, between a lot of, of data that, that are put together. Mm -hmm.